So this is a install video for the Renault Austral and the Dividing Dog Guard. Uh, this is a DIY install. I've purchased the Dog Guard separately from Glyn Hopkins Renault online. Um, it's quite a straightforward pack. It comes with the guard itself and two brackets like this. Um, you remove the uh, back parcel shelf and <clears throat> you've got two methods of fitting it. One, fitting it front forward like this, or the second method, fitting it so it's slightly further back. So I'm going to opt for the further back option. Um, and to do this, I'm just going to mask around this area here, just with a bit of masking tape, mark the area, drill it, and install um, these it's three holes you drill. You have three rubber grommets. It's got a threaded collar in it. Once you drill the holes, they will sit inside there. Um, put in your fixing bolt. It will sandwich the plate together um, and that grommet in there and we'll give you a solid fixing. Right, I'm gonna mask it where I want to fit it. Roughly go by eye, it's not gotta be absolutely bang on. Um, roughly there I'd say. the purpose of me putting the masking tape on there so I can see where to drill. So once you've done that, set the drill up. I'm going to go over a slightly smaller pilot bit just to get started. One, two, three. Take that off. There are our three holes going to get a larger bit so a larger bit straight in two three okay that's the three holes so once those holes have been drilled I'm just going to put the bolts into the grommet and push the first one in second third okay and then undo those by hand let it drop out a little bit fiddly you then offer your bracket up line the first one hand tight second one and then third. I'm just going to go and get set the drill up. So once you set the drill up, I'm just going to go in and slowly tighten them one by one. There we go. And you can feel it pulling really, really, really tight. So that's pretty solid on it. Obviously the whole plastic section moves, but that is solid on there completely. And you just repeat on the other side. Drill it, and I've already put in to the uh, three grommets. Do the third. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but there we go. Once all three grommets are in, offer your bracket up, line up your first one. I'm just going to do it hand tight for a minute, hold it in place. That one there. That one there. And then. As you tighten these, 
the rubber grommets squeezed together. They've like got a collar system on them and they wedge in tight. So that's pretty solid. You've got your movement on there, but that's with the plastic. But that's it fitted on that side. So once you've done both sides, that's the left, that's the right. You're then left with the guard itself to fit. Um, you've got two options again of doing this. You can either fit it so it's on the rear or fit it so it's that way. I'm going to opt for this way, I think, just to give the less chance of my dog jumping over. It's quite straightforward. Bolt in the back. Offer it up. Yeah, want to hold it into place. Get a line that behind. One. Once that's in position, get the bolt through. Final tight, tight on that one, and then just line that bottom one up. There you go. In that one, Let's check that one, and that's it. That's the dog rail installed. Pretty straightforward. That's it from the back, and then this is it from the other side. Fits really well. Probably all in all, 10, 15 minute job.